So good morning, good afternoon. My presentation is on CityWorks for Client Management. So before I begin, I wanna tell you a little bit about myself. So like you heard before, my name is John Fletcher and I've been working for Mike Stone Associates for the last four years as a project manager. And so for one of the reasons why I decided to possibly humiliate myself in front of everyone is because I think CityWorks is a great tool to utilize and it has been something that I have fallen back on the last few years to use in my everyday work life. So let me begin. So a little bit about my company. We're a full service management consulting firm that focuses on providing services to government and not-for-profit agencies in the greater Houston area. We have 12 employees with two offices located in Fort Bend County and Harris County. We have no local CityWorks servers, so everything is 100% online. So CityWorks is 100% online, ArcGIS is 100% online, and now because of COVID, all of our meetings are 100% online. So a little bit about the clients. So most of the clients that hires Mike Sun Associate hire us as general managers. And so as general managers, we oversee construction, operation, and maintenance of assets. We generate reports, we create ortho mosaics for project sites, and we do many other things. Because of our unique skill sets, our clients range from uh, improvement districts, which are special districts that businesses fund projects within the district boundaries, we have levy improvement districts, which are actually special districts as well to help support levies around the community. We also have the Fort Bend County Toll Road Authority uh, to include all the operation projects and maintenance that's involved. Um, one of the key differences that makes Mike's and Associates unique is that almost all of our clients are contract based, meaning that for the, the, the Toll Road Authority, we're actually contracted out to be their general managers. Uh, the levy districts and the improvement districts were all contracted out. So we actually have no offices in any of our client facilities. All of the work being done is at our two offices here. We also have smaller clients that hires us for stuff like reserve studies. We do UAV photography, and we even do appraisal work for insurance companies. So how does Mike Sun Associate use CityWorks? Well, we create uh, and manage work orders. So an example of this being if an irrigation mainline bus that one of our clients parks, uh, we set up a work order and we send it out to the contractor and then they'll go out and fix it. We also track reoccurring and preventative maintenance work orders. So on the toll road, we have roadway cleaning and sweeping and we do that every month. And so we'll set up a reoccurring work order system for those kind of um, um, uh, maintenance upkeeps. We have file storage for plans, pictures, proposals, and invoices. And this is very helpful for stuff like if a guardrail gets hit, not only do we actually have to get a work order in place to get that guardrail fixed, but we also put out multiple work orders to uh, file the crash reports, pictures, and then we have to send all that stuff to the insurance companies. We also do cost tracking. We generate reports for board meetings because at the end of the day, everybody loves a good pie chart to show people. So when it comes to actually getting the work orders being sent out to the contractors, we have a few methods of this. So all of our contractors have multiple locations and all the locations actually have multiple work orders. The work orders requiring multiple contractors will sometimes have a, a specific job that we do and there are multiple contractors working on that specific job. So it's helpful to assign the work orders to each of those contractors to know what they need to do to get the work done. Um, CityWorks allows each work order to be appropriately assigned, tracked, and managed. Reports are generated either by location or by vendor, usually. And that means that, like, for the Fort Bend County Toll Road Authority, we will break it up as a roadway, whereas a special district will have it as a vendor. So if you look at the image above, this is kind of how we track it with the, the toll road by the, the roadway that's being uh, worked on. Uh, reports are also uh, reports from city works inform all the contractors of the scope of work that is being performed so there are two methods of creating these work orders one is by assigning work orders to the assets 
which in the case of this right image here, we have multiple assets for this particular client. And we have such fire hydrants, we have detention ponds, light fixtures, and we will assign those work orders to the assets to indicate to that vendor what specific item actually needs to be addressed. The other method is by assigning work orders to the GPS location. So when we have assets to assign, we will use that. However, it can be tricky on the roadways where we actually need sometimes precise locations to identify stuff like potholes or roadway debris where we don't have assets assigned to that kind of stuff. So we use station markers and then using the create activity feature, that's how we set those work orders up. So another tool we use is NearMap. So NearMap integrates well with CityWorks and ArcMap. Uh, it utilizes aerial photography, which updates three to four times per year. It's kind of like Google Maps, but it actually has better resolution and imagery, and it is updated way more frequently. And since we oversee actual large construction projects, having this updated aerial photography that's updated frequently helps us visualize the project progress. Uh, NearMap shows also the latest photos to the WMS server directly into ArcMap. Uh, so when we're making uh, maps for some of our clients, it's very useful. And then of course, uh, using NearMap to gather just data from the field, it's better than actually going out in the field. And especially here in Texas in the summer times, it's brutal and it's like a must have. But up next, you will actually be hearing more about NearMap from Shane and Amanda, so stick around. So I kind of wanted to give an, a quick example of kind of how we use CityWorks and NearMap together. So the images here are the Stefanoa Bridge, which is part of the emergency hurricane evacuation route here in the Fort Bend County. And since 2014, the bank has eroded over 150 feet, threatening to cause structural damage to the bridge. So with weekly inspections over the last few years, we have actually been able to document and keep track of the amount of erosion that has taken place. And so with the help of CityWorks, we've actually used the workware system to document our inspections and upload the photos, and then using NearMap to visualize the degradation of the bank. So as you can see here on the left image, this is back in 2014, how far the bank was. And in the right image, we actually show you what it looked like last year. And that's 150 feet of bank that is eroded away from the, from the river. Another task we use CityWorks for is sign permitting. So back in 2019, the Fort Bend County Tour Authority took over permitting signs along the roadway from Fort Bend County. We looked into PLL to meet the demand for the application for the applicants to apply online. So Mike's and Associate worked with CityWorks to help sign, set up a dynamic workflow of the permitting process and a public portal to help facilitate the applicants and the payment processes for commercial signs along the tollway. So this is helpful not only in helping applicants apply, but it also actually helps us keep track of all the sign locations on the roadways. So another use we have for PLO is to actually track the right-of-way permits for any type of access across a toll road. So due to the number of the consultants that need to review and approve the permits, setting up this workflow to track each step in the review process and approval has been beneficial. Before having PLL, most of the signs and the, the right-of-way permits were tracked on an Excel sheet and stored in, in our active drive. But now switching to PLL, it has greatly improved storing documents and keeping track of those permits. So CityWorks functionality is not just useful for managing outside sources, but also management for Mike's and Associates as well. By using work orders, record keeping, and tracking, CityWorks makes a centralized system to store and keep track of records. We not only use CityWorks as a present function to create work orders in, in right now, but we also use it to recall what work has taken place in the past in order to predict what kind of future projects and work may be needed. So I hope you enjoyed my presentation and I wanna thank you for your time. Thank you.